Welcome to the Using the Course Builder Tool demo. In this demo, you will learn how to use the Course Builder Tool to build a course with rich learning experiences that effectively support learners to meet their goals. At the end of this demo, you will be able to finish the course blueprint created in the Instructional Design Wizard or redesign your already created course. First, log in to your D2 Brightspace account and go into your course. On the course navigation bar, click on the Other Tools drop down menu or the Edit Course link. Choose the Course Builder option. If this is your first time you have entered the Course Builder, you will receive a welcome message. Click on the Start button. This tool has four main areas three tabs across the top, and the screen is divided into three columns. In the tabs across the top, you have the Content tab to return to the Content tool, the Manage Files tab to go to the File Explorer for your course, and the Course Builder tab, which is the tool we are in now. In the Build Outlines section, you have different optional placeholder icons that can be dragged and dropped into the center work area to design the look or workflow for your course. These placeholders are reminders to you that you will eventually want to place something here, such as a Dropbox or a link, but that you are not ready to commit to the details to that Dropbox or link yet. For example, we'll create Week 9 and Discussion 1 placeholder. Once you have dropped the placeholder into the work area, you will notice that it has a dashed line around it. In the Add Content section, you have different content icons that can be dragged and dropped into the Work Area section to create new items in your course. If you are using placeholders, you can only drag and drop an item onto a placeholder that matches that placeholder. Example, the discussion item can only be dropped on a discussion placeholder. Notice when I drag the discussion item over the placeholder, it highlights the placeholder orange. Notice when I drag the Dropbox item over the placeholder, the screen doesn't do anything. If you want to create a Dropbox item after a placeholder, when you drag the item over the work area, it will show a line where the Dropbox can and will be placed. I will create the discussion item. Notice that the discussion item opens with a chance for me to fill in all of the details of that discussion. You can build the content without the outline placeholders if you'd like. If you drag and drop any item into a place without a placeholder, the system will give you the create screen to create that item. In the browse tools section, you can click on the different tools to see what has already been created in your course. Then, drag and drop these items into the places you want them. In the Work Area section, you see a list of the items already created in your content area of the course, or the blueprint of the placeholders you created from the Instructional Design Wizard. Anything that is saved as a draft cannot be seen by students. All of the placeholders, the boxes with gray dashed lines around them, will not be displayed in the content tool until you have placed a real item into them. Use the plus and minus icons to expand and collapse the items. You can drag and drop the items in the work area to rearrange them.
or to move an item from one module to another. When you click on an item, the border around that item will change to orange. The information that you see in the description area is for the item that you have selected. This area allows you to change, add, move, or edit the item you have selected. You have now successfully used the Course Builder tool.